Let's now go into the installation process of Coppermine onto your web server or your web page. Before we actually go into the installation process, let's make sure that we have three things. Firstly, obviously we would need to have the Coppermine Gallery installation file. Now this installation file can be found at their web page. The URL of Coppermine Gallery is Copper coppermindgallery.net and this is what their web page looks like so we have the big green download button and this is the stable version version 1.5.4 it's a zip file so we'll be clicking on this button here in just one second but also here you find some news so this is arranged the latest so the very first news here is the latest news and it's always good to come here and have a read what's what's new on the right hand side first of all we'll find some welcoming message and just below that we'll find the requirements now this is very important so make sure you have all this and make sure that you actually understand what this is here you find a bit more information about all the requirements and then you'll find some of the features and basically saying that the uh, the features are endless and here you'll find a list of most of the actual features which are available with Coppermine Gallery. Take a note that if you see this yellowish or orange icon that's actually a new feature which is just for that particular version so that's something that previous in the previous version it wasn't available okay also you can go and have a look at the demo and you'll find some images all the way on the right hand side so basically this is the web page and apart from all the knowledge and everything else all the information we'll be using this link here to download the file apart from that all the way to the top you'll find some links home forum so it's always good to register and be part of a forum where you can exchange ideas and actually exchange some knowledge with the community there is the project link the download link which will take you to the same link as this green button here the documentation you'll find documentation about this particular version or the previous you find the frequently asked questions and the tutorials about us will give more information about the coppermine development team demo will give some coppermine demos so some examples of coppermine in action plugins will be actually visiting this link to download some of the plugins and we have the option search so basically this is one of the requirements or one of the files you would need to have the coppermine gallery installed onto your web page talking about the web page of course the very second thing is the web page itself now i'm going to be using a free hosting domain for this particular project but basically you can if you have your own hosting service you can use that as well but make sure that you can actually create some databases and that you have my sql as well and let's go back for a second and this is exactly what's needed so you need a web server you need php my sql you need this thing as well and i'll talk about this in uh, later tutorials and when you add all this up you will go you're going to get the copper mine gallery okay so let's go back so this is my web page and i have already went and created a database which i will use when i'm actually going through the installation process and lastly i'm going to need the ftp client software now i usually use filezilla and i would recommend you use filezilla as well so the basic idea is that i'm going to click on the download button and when my download has completed i'm going to use the information given here and of course this is going to be different for your web hosting service as well here is my ftp server host and all the required information i'm going to be using that to log into the filezilla and then what i'll do is i'm going to transfer the downloaded files so those this file here this is actually a zip folder and inside this zip folder there is many files i'm going to transfer all of the files onto my web page and then i'll click on it and this will actually take me through the installation process okay so let's begin and i'll quickly download the latest copper mine gallery okay so my my f download file has been actually downloaded and here it is like i said it's a zip folder so what i'll do is i'm just going to extract the folder here like so and while this is extracting i'll actually fire up filezilla okay so this is filezilla 
once again on the left hand side i have my computer so anything that's on my computer and on the right hand side i will have anything that's on my server so what i'll do now is i'll quickly connect to my server and you are going to see all of the files being populated on the right hand side when i actually connect to the server itself okay so this is the actual information which i'm going to need in order to log into my server using the ftp server or the ftp client which is the fire fazil in my case so what i'll do i'll quickly copy that and i'll connect to the server using the ftp client software called filezilla all right so actually i have connected and like i've said i have all of my files right here now okay so what i need to do now is find where i actually went and extracted my files and after that i'm going to go here and paste that right there and i'm going to find my files like so okay so the idea here is to actually open this file and select all of these files and upload it to my root folder now if you're using some other softwares and you would like to in a way bridge the copper mine gallery you would not upload your copper mine gallery files straight into your root folder so you would have some sort of a different folder and you would need to use one of the bridging plugins in order to actually have for example your page built with wordpress but use copper mines gallery for your gallery images okay so i'm not going to do that and instead i'll select everything and i'll just drag and drag and drop and all of the files should actually be transferred to my server now the folder that i have downloaded the zip folder it's about 18.1 or 0.2 megabytes and it shouldn't take you a lot of time to actually go about downloading that folder and the same would actually apply when you are transferring all of these files once again this depends on your host provider as well so to speed the things up i will actually continue recording once all of the files have actually been transferred to my server after successfully transferring all the files from the computer to your web server go back to the internet explorer and type in your url but at the end of the url so this is your home page type forward slash install php so once again for example if your web page is located at www.mywebpage.com this time you will type www.mywebpage.com forward slash install php when you type in that particular url you'll be brought to this page here so basically this page confirms that everything has been transferred correctly and this is the beginning of the installation of the copper mine gallery straight ahead you'll find this copper mine gallery documentation and manual here which is the dominant title on this page and there's the license and copyright agreement here so go through all of this read it and make sure that you do understand that also you have the availability to actually change the language by the default it's english but you also have a couple of other different languages and should you wish to for example use italian you will select italian and click on change language basically this is the new way of installing copper mine gallery and if you have a look all the way in the upper right corner basically there is 10 steps here so i'm not going to actually go through the new installation process but i'm actually going to follow the old installation process which is a bit more in my opinion better as it will give you some more options rather than actually just following this wizard here if you would like the wizard here will take you through all the steps that i'm going to actually do manually okay if you have a look all the way to the top you'll find this is the new installation wizard click here for the classic installation screen okay so we'll click 
on this link here. The very next page will give you some information first of all about the Coppermine Gallery and then it will ask you for the username, password and the email address and then you have to fill in your database information. So basically this is the information that you actually have to provide here in order for the Coppermine Gallery to work. So if you have not created a MySQL database, go back to your cPanel where you're actually hosting your web page and make sure that you create a MySQL database. Record all of the settings such as the MySQL host, the database name, username, password and then come back here and fill in this information. I've done this beforehand so I already have a database, MySQL database and I'll just quickly fill in all the information here starting with the username and all the way to the MySQL password. Alright so I've entered the required information starting with the username, password and the email address then I entered my MySQL host which is this here and to the database name, the username and the password here as well. So I can actually leave the table prefix as it is and if I wanted I can actually put here something as if I wanted to but you'll find the comment just below that the default value is ok and no dots are allowed. Ok, if we move a bit more down we'll find this image magic option here and basically if you have registered with image magic and you have an account you can actually go and enter that path here otherwise we'll have a look at the image magic a bit more later and for now we can leave everything as it is here and we can hit on this button here which says let's go okay so that's pretty much all there is now the copper mine gallery has successfully been installed on your web server and this information here is just confirming that Coppermine is now properly configured and ready to roll logging using the information you provided for your admin account do not hit back do not resubmit the install installer form then you find some information in the case that php does not seem to be included in the GD graphics library extension and you can follow this information here and then you have the important note here which actually says all the versions of the GD graphics library support only JPEG and, and, and PNG images. If this is the case for you then the script will not be able to create thumbnails for the GIFT images. Okay so I'll hit on let's continue and basically this will bring me now to my Coppermine image gallery. At the moment you can see that it's actually saying welcome guest meaning that it still does not recognize me as the admin or as designer of or the owner of this Coppermine gallery and then I have some random files and no image to display last editions and no image to display okay okay so basically this is how you would go about downloading and installing your Coppermine gallery onto your server it's quite straightforward and basically does not differ a lot from most of the other CMS softwares out there and once you actually done here you can go and you can hit on the login button here and here you would enter the information you have just previously stated so i'll quickly do that and i'll log in as the admin just to see the copper mine backend if you would like okay so here i am i'm actually logged in as admin you'll find the information here welcome admin first of all you'll find some uh, some actual news from the copper mine gallery here and all the way to the top you'll find the main menu and we'll go through all of the available options in the main menu in the later video tutorials okay so installing Coppermine gallery it's quite easy so basically you would need three things first of all you would need the installation folder of the Coppermine gallery you can download it from their website then you would need a domain name or a hosting service where you are actually going to put your Coppermine gallery and then you would need some sort of a FTP client such as FileZilla once you have all of this then you would actually find where you downloaded your Coppermine installation Coppermine gallery installation folder and you would use FileZilla to actually transfer those files to your server once that is done make sure that you actually have MySQL database installed and ready on your website on your web server and that you have all the relevant information which are going to be required when you start the installation process after that it's quite easy all you have to do is just fill in some information such as the username and the name of your database and then basically just follow the prompts and in a few easy steps you'll be brought to a page 
like this where you can actually start working and actually designing and optimizing your copper mine gallery which is something that we are going to be doing in the next video tutorials